Greetings, ADC 163. Um, this video, we're going to review the first submissions from class, and we are going to talk about the next steps. As a as a bonus here, we got a special guest. Charlene is here. Say hello, Charlene. <laughs> can, I, can I hear you? Yep. Okay. All right. I wasn't sure if I could hear you. Um, so Charlene's a past student and now at Jefferson in architecture and might be helping out and doing some tutoring in this class. So she's going to take a look and uh, tell us what she thinks. So we'll look at your work. We'll look at some past work and um, talk about what exactly is due. So we'll move through this pretty quickly. These first submissions generally looked um, quite good in, in general. Um, so let's move through them pretty quickly. So the first things um, we see our section arrows are in place. We wanted to cut through the smaller building, cut through the larger building. The longitudinal section is cutting through both pools. And then we just want to make sure that everything is in place and plan. Um, so this looks good. Feel free to, if you see anything, Charlene, please let us know. Um, I don't know if you guys have worked on line weights yet. No, we have not done any work with line weights. I'll, I'll put that on the list. I, I, I've rarely done too much work with line weights in general in Revit, but... Um, oh, I learned a lot last sem this semester. Okay. So All right. Yeah, and I'd say uh, for the break lines, I was taught to split them. So yeah. when you select the line, um, there's a, going to be a small little blue node in the center. Mm -hmm. You just click that and it splits the break line. Okay. This, this is the break line for the section that she's yeah. referring to. Yeah. And I'll, I'm taking notes and we'll show that in the next video. That makes sense. And then we move into the section. So in general, we look for the drawing tiles to be all aligned. One, two, three, they make sense. Everything's populated. Everything's about the same size. All the notes are off the drawings. So generally looking pretty neat. And we talked about the importance. I'm, I'm not going to zoom into everyone, but just to inform Charlene what we were talking about in class. We wanted to make sure that walls were um, properly stacked, like the floor is properly stacked on top of the wall. This wall's on top of it, so that all looks neat and sure neat and tidy as it should be. And everything's to the same scale, so that looks good. All right, we're going to move through these pretty quickly. They're all um, relatively similar and all look relatively good. This this looks good. I, I I must have when I showed it, I must have told them to put the um, to put this one right through the stairs because everybody's is there. I might have I might change that um, when we look at it. It's a little odd to see the stairs that are cut there. And then we also catch this little bit of wall. If you move this section into the room a little deeper, we could actually see this door. Um, we would stay cut through here and we would see the stairs in their entirety, which might help a little bit. Here, down at the right, you can see it's a little odd to cut those stairs. And then we have a wall out here that we caught that doesn't make too much sense. So um, maybe coming off the stairs would make more sense. But in general, it all looks neat. Keep going. So we lost a tail over here. But everybody went right through the stairs. So I suspect that's what I did in my video. Yeah. Um... Did you go over like printing settings? Which settings in particular do you have in mind? So like you can customize the size of the page when you uh, PDF it. So it doesn't show like this uh, fat giant white. Oh, no, no, I didn't actually do that. That's a good point. So yeah. printing PDFs. Yeah, and customizing uh, the page. No. Okay, that's a good point. These have very long necks on them here. Well, these are super, super short. So in general, you want to get all these arrows to be the same, same height. So here, these are not populated with numbers yet. So that means that this PDF was printed before the section sheet was populated. So you want to reprint this afterwards. Oh, I think they misspelled pavilion. Yes, no R in pavilion. Very good. Again, the size of the arrows you want to pay attention to. What's weird is like the line weights are like different for each one. Like this one's looking a little darker. Maybe it's because it's zoomed out. Yeah, yeah. When you zoom in, they generally look more respectable. 
Yeah. This looks good. I think this is a great project to start with. It's pretty. Yeah, definitely. Uh, do you recommend them to have like um, a North Arrow on the site plan too, or no? I've I've never added one. I'll look into that. Is that. They do have tags. It, where? Um, it's in the detail items. Detailed uh, items, okay. Yeah, when you input um, objects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in general, yes, it's always good practice to have a north arrow. All right, and this Najat second. Looks neat. Keep going. Uh, okay, so these are just out of order, so L's. Um, again, tags are not populated, so just printed out of order. Missing doors here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a fire hazard. And the sections. Yeah. Yeah, generally very neat. Adriana's. So now the fun starts with rendering, which is just a, yeah, whole, a whole nother. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot more experiment experimentation. Um, one question I did actually have for you, Charlene, which I have very little experience with, is um, Revit City, like downloading chairs and things. Are there any like warnings or, or things that people should be concerned about? Like, I know you don't want to fill your oh. models with too much stuff. Yeah, is... we're told to um, open it in a separate file. Okay. Like, don't open the file in your project file. Open it separately. Okay. And then, um, if you're going to save it, you can resave it as a different name, make it really simple, and then input it into your project. Okay. Just make sure that it's not going to crash your file. Yeah. Crash their file. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I didn't talk much about that because I personally don't use it. Um, is Revit City where the people go and download the Barcelona Pavilion chair, for instance. Yeah. Um, so Charlene's That's saying to open it up separately. Yeah. So this one we need um, turning off these cameras, I call them the elevation cameras. Um, and then here we have a tag going right through the text, so we don't want that. Um, yeah, so they're going to be hopefully rendering on the cloud soon. Awesome. And yeah, otherwise this looks good, so just tidy up that stuff. And this looks decent as well. Again, so unpopulated tags. Otherwise looks good and good. Oh, and Elisa's. Yeah, so in general, I think the building went very well. And just talking to the students as briefly as I have, um, it sounded like it went pretty well for them too, without too much frustration. Sometimes uh -huh. that downloading Revit was actually like the hardest part for some, just getting that started. Yeah, because you have to like download the library as well. Yeah, so you yeah. Make sure you're downloading it in different drivers. Okay, I didn't know that. That's another thing. Yeah. Um, so I actually went into the archives and dug up Charlene's pavilion. So now we could uh, pick on it. So this is vintage, circa 19, uh, 2017. It's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> and so here, this is the crop region that's showing, this box here. So we would want to activate the sheet, select that crop region, and hide it. And I also I'll see. Some land. I don't know. I uh, see uh, land. Okay. Oh, oh, that's the pad. Line. Yeah. <laughs> you might want to show a property line in the north arrows. And... Yep. Yeah, yes. Um, and this line is also here. I'm not sure. So that's like the wall showing or something. That's, oh yeah, that's, that's the second walls. line. Yeah, I did look at an extra little fancy thing. Fancy. Um, and actually, I'm going to go over the requirements next. I'll bring up the Word document next. But what's essentially needed is plan, two elevations, three sections, and renderings. And you could compose the sheets as you see fit. The plan comes first, then the elevations come. But you could also, like Charlene did very nicely here, is add renderings or line drawings that complement it. So 
Here we're looking at the south elevation, which is kind of flat and doesn't tell us too much. But then Charlin made the smart decision of showing us this rendering at the same time, um, which is, so the two work very well together. So you have flexibility in how you compose the sheet. So that's why we want to look at some past work in particular. Looks pretty good. <laughs> I guess again uh, with the break lines. Just, uh, yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on the list. And then this is good too. So this is an elevation sheet. So now we're looking at that east elevation, which not very dramatic. The elevations of this are pretty um, uneventful in general, but we could see the stairs here in elevation. We see them up again close and we see them from the distance. So um, I see that, but could have uh, rendered that one on the bottom. <laughs> it's a little gray and smoky. Yeah, this is spice it up. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, it, it, as, as a page, it reads pretty well. These, if anything, these are maybe a little too similar. But here we get closer and we could see the pool. Um, I also could have aligned that right there to the image on the side, on the right-hand side. You see how it's not These? Yeah, yeah. Those. Yes, always align when possible. Yeah. But in terms of describing the space, it's a good page. And then here we see um, two... Two more sections. Let's actually just let's just back up to the plan. So these are um, what, sections one and two. Oh, so these are the two sections. All right. So middle, yeah. and then we're here looking towards the stairs. So the stairs are just beyond here, and that's so. This view is this view. So I guess we're inside the door here, but um, so we see the pool section, and that's what we see there. So these work well. Okay, I mean, there's a couple others I'll just throw up quickly. Can you hear me okay, Sherlyn? I think this might have frozen. I think I lost Sherlyn for a second. She'll... Okay, we are back. I had to pause there. Um, so just a couple other. So we finished looking at Sherlyn's, and I just have a couple other. We just want to look at a couple renderings. Um, so Sherlyn was just saying she thought the angle here was too sharp yeah uh, we're looking at the middle view right mm -hmm. so you'd rather look down on it a little more to better see yeah, it yeah just to kind of have the human perspective mm. yeah um, also i would keep it like three drawings to a page i just thought it was like weird to kind of center it. yeah yeah that makes sense it is it is a little crowded too um but it, so it does complement this one well, but I, I do agree. It's just like it's really crunched top to bottom, so hard to yeah. read. Um, these two work well enough together. But this one's like oversized. Like there's a lot of plainness here, um, a lot of emptiness for the size where this one needs more space. You know, it would help if this thing were the whole page left to right. Um, okay, let's just look at one or two more. So also from Nicole, a very nice rendering. So. That's nice. Yeah, people people came by way of Photoshop, which we're probably not going to have time for in our quick six week version of this, um, but a beautiful rendering. And so in general, we want to find similar material. So we talked about um, they took a quiz actually on the pavilion. So we have marble um, and, it, and discussed a lot of material. So we have marble. This is onyx and we have travertine floors. So we want to, um, you know, keep keep with um, the spirit of the original, even if we don't exactly match it but very nicely lit and this page i like to so this one so the hatches are a little dark but um but these two i think read nicely together this one with the roofs on and this one with it off really cool yeah nice okay i'm just gonna pause for a moment and we'll talk about the requirements okay we're back so now just to quickly review exactly what's due so this is um, the pavilion. It is due on Friday the 12th. That's correct. So we have just under two weeks to finish it. As I just mentioned, we want the materials to be similar to the actual pavilion. So don't reinvent it, please. 11 by, C 11 by 17 PDFs. And so again, these are the pieces that make up the sheets. And in general, the, um, the uh, order is always plan elevation section. So you should stick with that. But as you saw some examples, we um, complement, supplement the, and that's what I kind of said here. We're going to put in some line drawings. I'm going to show you the, how to do that in the next 
video um, to kind of help explain those plans and elevations. The elevations in particular could use some help. So we have a floor plan, we have two elevations. And, oops, I think this is 16th actually, I think. Um, whatever it is, we're sticking with it. Floor plan elevations, two, three sections. So that's just how we started them so I could see everything. So we have a longitudinal and two transverse sections, two renderings, that's what's beginning now. Um, and again, in the second video, I'll talk more about that. But um, so one from outside, one from inside. So we should see a long view from the outside that includes the pavilion and pool. And then some line drawings to complement. So that's that's basically it. So it's probably about five sheets or so. OK. Um, and then this is all the pieces that I grade individually. OK, let's talk about the second project then. Okay, we're back for one final review. So this is a quick introduction to project two. And again, Charlene's still here and um, will hopefully be available for some tutoring. So she's going to perhaps offer some advice in terms of um, even on our really, or especially on our really strict schedule to get this done in three weeks. There's a variety of these houses. They were um, in catalogs and then they were actually shipped to your building lot and homeowners built them, which is really pretty scary. Um, a lot of them still stand, actually, and they range from pretty elaborate to very simple. And in general, um, my recommendation is that you pick something that's ambitious but doable. It's, it's better to do a good job with a modest project than to do a mediocre job with a um, particularly complex project. So... New things that we're going to introduce are obviously pitched roofs. We'll, we'll tile up finish up gable walls. We could do fireplaces. We'll do traditional windows and doors. So far, we're only doing storefronts. Um, but in general, so when we, when we look at these pictures, Charlene, we just want to kind of warn them as to what might be difficult or what might be easy in general. Like this, I think, is pretty easy. This is, it's very boxy, two gables. So, you know, this is the gable roof and then the, this gable over the um, main entry. So I, I would say this is a good contender, I, I think, for a project. I'd agree. Yeah. Um, that's good. So I'm going to zoom into the floor plans next. So here they have two sets of floor plans, I guess, for the same the same look, actually. I could actually maybe pull this a little bit bigger. We'll zoom in on the floor plans next. Whoops, sorry. There. Um, so the porch would take some building, especially if you were to get into these decorative kind of um, column tops. Again, very boxy. Windows are easy. The roofs are pretty easy. You know, this dormer would be a little building project. And I would say this porch in particular. Ra rails rails are easy, um, but sometimes they get fussy. Yes, I'm looking at the detail of the rafters for the roof. Oh, yeah, here too. Oh, and yeah. here too. That's true. Yeah. Um, That'll be an interesting challenge. Yes. Yeah, I would call it a bonus. If it doesn't happen, it's somewhat understandable. But um, if it's we... It's possible. It's possible, yes. So Charlene, <laughs> Charlene will show us how to do rafter tiles. Um, would you actually frame the whole roof, or not bother? You just put little rafter tails, probably. Uh, I would just add the tails. Yeah, yeah. The rendering. Like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Running the rafters up and, and, and make it look really nice. But that's the <laughs> issue. We do have to keep in mind that we're going to show floor plans and the section. Oh. One thing you can do is you could draw um, on top uh, with detail lines. That's what we kind of learned. If you can't model it, you can just draw with detail lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we zoom into the floor plans. Let me just get back. Hold on one second. Yeah, relatively easy. Yeah. Okay, so um, so there are two different versions. This number 2007 is the cheaper of the two, which is here. So this version on the left has something going for it that the other doesn't. Um, maybe it's a little bigger in square footage, actually. So we're going to insert. So, so everybody has to find their own house, and you have to find a JPEG that looks like this, that has the floor plan, has the um, has an elevation. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about windows, setting the window heights. That'll all be relatively easy. And um, the floor plans are quite easy as well. So I, I think this one, despite being quite big, is, is also definitely doable. I would say that. 
Um, let's take a look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one's much more complicated. Whoops. Yeah, so this is this mansard roof. Even that's pretty goofy looking, just actually the way they drew it. But um, this roof would be tricky. A lot of porch going on, bump yeah, outs. It's possible. possible in three weeks if you're going to spend a lot of time. On the roof. Yeah. yeah, it'd be a great portfolio picture, and I think in the portfolio it'd be nice to put this JPEG with it. Oh. Are you still looking at the picture? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just looking at that. Um, the is it a is it called the balcony? Kind of like connect on. Oh, up here on the second floor. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if there's a floor there. Yeah, I'm sure there is. I would think there is. Yeah, these. Well, yeah. If we look. Well, no. Actually, I might be lying. If we look down here, um, I don't see doors. Those look like windows. So that might be a fake balcony. Oh, it's like a railing on top of the roof. You can't really step out on it. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Th this is the second floor. It looks like oh, it does say balcony. Does it? Yeah, it does. Here, oh, get... okay, cool, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. It doesn't show a door though. It looks like a window. You have to jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, very modest. Very very simple. The building would be super easy. Um, so if you pick something as easy as this, I expect more on the rendering side. Oh yeah. That time would have to be put in to make some really striking renderings, less building, more rendering. So um, we could talk about them as you pick them, but, but that's my general take like on that. A, a detailed section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very simple. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. Perhaps even simpler. Here's Ooh, it's so cute, it's like a tiny little cottage. Yeah, that's your, your tiny house. It's so cute. 20 by 16. That is wow. 960, 320 square feet. So, and Photoshop's a possibility. I mean, this could really be striking, but it would have to be really, really well done. Otherwise, um, you're kind of uh, copping out on the building part of it, I would say. And we saw something like this, this four square. Um, so this is very fuzzy, but um, similar, similar to the last, these columns might be a little easier, a few less columns. That's it's kind of nice. Really nice. Yeah, the roof wouldn't be too bad, but there's a lot of detail there. Um, but I'm going to show you. Actually, we're almost through these, and then there, that's the uh, the mansion, Yay. the mansion of the of the group. I wouldn't take the, take that on. I think the, I did this one. What's that? Did I do this one? I think I did. I don't. I don't remember. Not with me. I don't think. The Magnolia. I would not do that in three weeks. All right. And then, so now the last few slides I want to show are actually a remodel of one of these homes. So bringing it into the 21st century. Um, so I guess maybe perhaps this white area is the original, and then this was all built on. So original, the original back. So now afterwards. So keeping in the spirit, that kind of craftsman, craftsman spirit, these big columns. Um, so modifi modifications could be made, updates could be made, interior could be beautiful. That's that's beautiful, you yeah. know. So um, bringing it up to date, and we'll talk more about windows when we get there. But this is this is a beautiful Sears home, I would say. Okay, all right, very good. Yeah. Already, Sherlyn, mm -hmm. to help them out. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Charlene, for joining for this video, and we will um, be in contact soon. Thank you.